Scissors. Check. Or block. Check. Let's open. Hey there, creepy peeps. It is box opening time again, and I intro every single one of my box opening videos like that. I'm just realizing. Um, but yeah, it's box opening time again, and I've got my scissors at the ready to cut open the March horror block. Um, in case you haven't noticed from these videos, I never get the horror block in the month I'm supposed to. Uh, this is the March box and it is now April. That's okay though, I still get it, so can't complain too much, right? Okay, so first thing of course is the t-shirt always comes with a horror block and this month it is Walking Dead. It's pretty cool. What we got? Oh, see it. Oh, I can't tell if you guys can see it. Okay. Dixon motorcycle repair, walker removal. Pretty cool. I actually just started watching this show to be quite honest really late in the game i feel like that's how i watch all my tv shows anyway i wait until they're many a season in or i wait until it's the last season and then i'm like oh i guess i should start this show so i've been watching that I'm only a few episodes into the first season so okay anyways next thing is oh that's cute it's like one of those little um key cover things. Look at that glare. Looks like some sort of zombie baby thing. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Maybe this one's actually big enough to fit on one of my work keys. Okay. Next thing. Uh, Daisy. Uh, shut up. I don't know what this is. Um, it's a little box and it says this tomb has remained sealed for over 10,000 years open at your own risk and on the back it says do you dare break the seal of the pharaohs um sure i guess i dare although i have seen the mummy and usually opening things that say do not open uh ends badly so what the hell is this that looks like some sort of motor thing and it looks like something i maybe have to put together which is not going to happen okay so um i opened it and I see a little pack with this looks like a little motor for a little wind up toy, maybe. And then something I need to put together. So I'm gonna open this real quick and see. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be okay. It's um seriously, where did I put my Oh, way over there. Okay, well I guess I'm not gonna open it right now. <laughs> Um, but I see a little picture behind the motor. You see him? I'm pretty positive that's the plants versus zombie. Zombie. So, uh, it looks like I can build a mummy and make it walk. Um, don't know how well that's gonna work because I'm not... Oh wait, I can open it. I'm not a mechanic or engineer. In any sense so that's probably not gonna work out so well for me oh wow yeah that's a lot of pieces I don't know about this these are like little pop out like limbs and body parts and it has instructions but that doesn't mean I'm gonna be successful at this at all all right that's really cute um, <laughs> something I probably won't be able to do okay next thing is a clue to what our theme is, uh, The Walking Dead. I got a little drawstring backpack with Daryl on it. Daryl. His name is Daryl, right? Pretty sure that's what it is. Um, like I said, I'm only like a couple episodes into season one. That's pretty cool. These always come in handy whenever I go to things like shows and outdoorsy type things instead of carrying a purse or whatever my shoulder just use one of these because then I don't care if it gets all dirty and messed up or anything 
Okay. Next thing is a canvas. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Just to get to full, the full effect, the full effect. Um, I'm gonna open this. Looks like some sort of piece of art, and there's something small in the back, so I don't want to lose that. So I'm gonna, it's just something to hang the picture with. Okay. See what it is now. His face is kind of half covered up with these stupid little cardboard things. I always throw stuff on the floor during these videos and then I regret it because I hate mess. Then I have something to clean up afterward and that's not fun. Okay, come on. All right, so I'm just getting these little things off so we can get the full effect here because I have a piece of art and it has to do with Hellraiser. Isn't that cool? That's pretty awesome. Like I've never actually owned a piece of art or print or anything that was actually on like a canvas. I have like posters and prints or whatever in frames but it's like the closest so that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, and he looks really creepy, so I just need to get like a screwdriver or something. Screwdriver, and uh, this bad boy's going on my wall, that's for damn sure. Okay, and of course, the last thing is a magazine. This time being Rue Morgue. It's on the cover this time. 35 years of the changeling, Canada's chilling ghost story. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen that or heard of that. Might have to check that out. It is Canada's most chilling ghost story after all. Um, yeah. Oh, the Babadook's on the back. That comes out on DVD soon. I'm ultra stoked for that. And yeah, and of course, uh, the little, um, <laughs> the little, um, shit, <laughs> little doodad that, um, tells me what all was in here. So, yeah, that was the contents of my horror block. As you can see, it is empty. And,. Yeah, uh, let me know what you thought of this month's horror block. Um, honestly, I really like that picture and I'm really, <laughs> I'm really happy with that uh, picture and that t-shirt is also quite cool. Um, and that's all I have for you for this video. Until next time, stay strange, bye.